here, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to learn and around the world. Let's go. Step one is tap-ups. These are key guppies where my kicking foot doesn't touch the floor. Step two is learning the motion that gets your foot up around the ball with the same kick. Now, we don't want to kick it and then chase the ball. We want to go up and to the side in the same motion. This is important because your foot will learn to go in a nice big circle without having to wait for the ball to already be in the air. Just like that. Step three is our full circle around the ball. So a full around the world, but with a bounce in the middle. This gives us plenty of time to learn the circular motion without having to chase the ball and panic before it hits the floor. Just like step two, we want to get our foot to go up and in a circle with the same kick. Don't wait for the ball to already be in the air and then try and chase it around. Step four puts all of our previous steps together. This is where we do our foot around the world. You just need to move your foot a little bit quicker than step three to catch the ball before it bounces. Let's recap. Step one is our tap ups. Step two gets our foot to the side of the ball with the same kick that gets the ball in the air. Step three gets our foot all the way around the ball, but with a bounce in between. And step four is our foot around the world without a bounce. Now so far, I've been on around the world with my foot going this way around the ball, but you can use the same steps to learn the around the world in the other direction. If you like this tutorial, Follow us on Instagram at School. the link's in the description, and send in your video because we want to see how well you can do it. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really liked it, subscribe for more. There's new videos come out every single day. See you tomorrow.